Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, October 16th to the 17th intuitive love read. For all of those who are returning to my channel, welcome back. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Please drop a like below, share, subscribe, and comment if this video resonates with you. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. All right. So the energy Cancer has in relation to love right now for the next day, the Emperor. Aries energy. <clears throat> the Emperor knows what he or she wants. It's just male energy. Don't get hung up on the feminine, masculine energy. We all incorporate both within us. You're pretty confident in what you're looking at and what you want in relation to love. You're confident in yourself, too. You're like, I'm okay as I exist on my own. Like this Nine of Pentacles uh, feel is coming from it. But I'd like to have somebody. I'd like to have my Empress, please. <laughs> it's like you're putting in an order. I'd like to have my Empress, please. I'll take one to go. Who's coming towards you? The Knight of Cups. We just settle for a night for now. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. I like this night. This night has this very soft nature to him or her. There is a softness to them. They're very subtle. When they approach you, they will be very subtle in doing so. I like them. How are you going to respond? And that's interesting. That came up upside down, and that's how I'm feeling it. Five of Swords. This is your response to this Knight of Cups. You feel absolutely no need to put up any sort of defense with this knight. This is what I mean about what I just said. This knight, there's such a softness to him or her that it just like melts all your defenses away. And this is exactly what it's doing. This Five of Swords energy. It's just... It's almost... It's almost hypnotic. It's not even like, it's like magic. It's hypnotic in that you just do it. You just do it. It's natural. So how does this change your energy? And for doing that to an emperor? <laughs> so you bring up the king of wands. Well, that's understood. Because now your defenses are dropped. And now you're like, okay, let's have some fun. I like this Knight of Cups. That's what you're thinking. This Knight of Cups makes you feel at home, makes you feel safe, makes you feel safe enough to let loose. This Knight of uh, King of Wands is bringing out your adventurous side. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're feeling very sexual. You're feeling confident. You know what you want, but now you want to have fun. Okay, so let's see how this knight responds to this King of Wands energy. This will be interesting. Huh. Okay. Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. And the Empress. Well, you wanted your order to go, didn't you? There you go. You've got an Empress on your hands. And they feel like you have been what they've been waiting for. You are what they have been waiting for all their life. Isn't that a song? Like I said that and they'll give me the song later. Now that's going to bug me. But they feel like their ships have come in and it's you. It's like you're on that ship and they no longer want to be single. They feel okay and autonomous on their own. They feel independent. They know they can take care of themselves. They are the Empress. Okay? They know they can, but they don't want to. 
they found you. And this explains why I felt the softness because the Empress brings out the softer side in the Emperor. And that is why it she just melts your defenses away like magic. The Empress is magic, especially to the Emperor. So they're just like, I'm done. My emperor is here. My emperor is here. And how do you respond to this empress? Oh, how do you respond? I'm liking this energy between you. I can feel it. The Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity regarding love. It's like... Aha, there you are. She is my truth. You're finally complete because you were an emperor, but you were missing that, that sort of softness to you. You needed the empress to bring out the, now the emperor is the king of all kings, right? So the emperor is the king of wands, the king of pentacles, the king of cups, the king of swords. The King of Wands is the fun, adventurous, fiery, passionate side, okay? And the Emperor doesn't always let the King of Wands loose, but with the Empress, he just feels free to present to her any of the kings that is appropriate. Like, now he can have fun with all the aspects of himself. It's like she gives him permission to do so. She softens him up to the point where he just feels more free to be the emperor, to be the best emperor that he can be, or she. Wow. Okay, so how does this change your, how does this change your energy? <laughs> of course, see, queen of wands. And the two of wands. So now the Empress is now bringing out the masculine and feminine quality in you. A balance, another two here, a balance within you that you like very much. She's the temptress of the deck. So it's just this very, oh, you are very turned on by this Empress. You are very turned on. That's what I'm feeling, my my sacral chakra, my root chakra, just getting worked up. Okay, so how does this empress respond? The moon card. Oh boy, she's bringing out the big guns. She's bringing out the big guns. Cancer. This is your card, Cancer or Pisces. She's revealing more of herself to you. She's illuminating aspects only meant for the emperor her aspects that are only meant for the one and only which is the emperor okay so how do you respond to this the high priestess this is a twin flame card but this is another two this is balance and this is all about she she or he is showing you the deeper most parts of themselves that they have never shown anybody and you respond by looking within and saying oh I feel like I have a gift I need to give my empress the same gift I need reciprocity I need to be reciprocal in the gifts that I'm receiving from her you feel very honored very emperor like I love these energies together I just love them cancer truly so what is in the future for you I don't know what can get better than this but let's see the five of wands oh wait a minute the chariots the ace of cups and the devil card, okay. <sighs> okay, the struggle is over, they're saying, for both of you. No more struggle when it comes to love. It's ease. Ease, they're saying. 
the the um, chariot, the Cancer card, again balance. So you guys know this. It's it's like no more struggle. It's ease. It's balance. Let's go forward together. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family now. And let's add a little bit of devil in the mix because this is what we need to spice up the bedroom. I told you, you were feeling very sexual with this king and queen of wands. Well, the devil's here to introduce some more interesting behavior in the bedroom, which you won't mind. And the emperor and the empress know how to deal with this devil energy, how to not allow it to become codependent, how to maintain a healthy boundary when it comes to this devil energy in the bedroom because this is very alluring, this is very intimate, this is just hot and steamy and exciting and intense. Very intense union is going to happen in the bedroom. There you have it, Cancer. I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. Comment. Tell me if this is your story. I want to hear it. I want to interact with you guys. So, oof. Now that was some energy to feel. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you tomorrow.